Have you ever wondered how in-flight Wi-Fi works or how you even get a Wi-Fi signal in mid-air while on a plane? Well, that's what this video is about. So stay tuned and let's get into the main methods used to provide wireless internet to an aircraft. The first method uses ground-based mobile broadband towers which send signals up to an aircraft's antennas, usually at the base of the fuselage. As you travel into different sections of airspace, the plane automatically connects to signals from the nearest tower, so there is in theory at least no interruption to your browsing. But if you're passing over large bodies of water or particularly remote terrain, connectivity can sometimes be an issue. This method can also be referred to as the ATG or the air-to-ground system. It requires two antennas that are installed on the belly of an aircraft in order to pick up signals from the land-based cell towers. When the flight attendant flips the switch on the ATG system to on, the aircraft begins to pick up the different cell towers and allows users within the plane to start sending and receiving signals. The second method uses satellite technology. Planes connect to satellites in geostationary orbit which is around 35,000 kilometers above the planet which sends and receives signals to Earth via receivers and transmitters. These are the same satellites that are used in television signals, weather forecasting, and covert military operations. This method covers a much greater area, keeping you connected even when flying out of range of ground-based cell towers or over the ocean. A cool band antenna is housed in a big dome-shaped saucer that sits on top of the plane and similar to a rooftop TV dish on a house. This antenna has to be directed toward the transmitting satellite as the plane flies. Once the antenna picks up the satellite signal, the plane provides users with Wi-Fi speeds of up to 30 to 40 megabits per second. Although this is much improved over the ATG system, speeds depend on how many aircraft one satellite is serving. Another satellite method is known as CABAND, formerly used for the military communications. Satellite-based CABAND is currently the fastest Wi-Fi service available for airlines and is popular with JetBlue, Virgin America and some United 737s. Satellite and wireless service provider Viasat powers CABAND with its new Viasat-1 satellite, which is more powerful than cool banded satellites and promises speeds of up to 70 megabits per second to each aircraft. There are many other special satellites for sending signals on airplane and each of them can provide different access speeds so while they are different the concept is basically the same and that's about it for this video if you want to check out previous tech tips videos you can easily do so by checking out the playlist on this channel or by clicking the link provided in the description below if you learned anything new or want more consider subscribing for new videos every single week Monday to Friday but not exactly every day Monday to Friday thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video